next ones are for the monkeys for this evening. So, uh, so Salibi macaques, uh, stump-tailed macaques, uh, white-handed gibbons, and the two groups of seaman gibbons that we've got. So, what do they like? Different kind of. Um, they just because we know we've got three monkeys in each, so they've got a three bananas, and they've all got three things each, and they're just in a black container, so we know who's it for. Okay. And then you just have, and they do, they basically. Eat You're not telling basic. me the monkeys look look at three bananas and share them out. They do sometimes, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, never. Favourites. Uh, I suppose the gibbons and the siamangs, particularly when they're calling, uh, it reminds me of so much of Malayo, and they are they are wonderful creatures, very very family oriented, and they look after their little youngsters and grow them up over the years. And yeah, the gibbons have to be my favourite. We have had uh, monkeys in the past that uh, we thought were safe and secure behind. Uh, electric wires, hot wires, but uh, they ignored it and just walked out. And uh, but they they walked back in again with the the offer of their favourite food. So they've had to be put in more secure accommodation. Now, it is the one animal that you'd really really love to have. Uh, yes, but probably the the animals that I find really the most interesting ones uh, in the wild are best left in the wild. What sort of animals have, have, have left from here to either support populations in other uh, zoos or wildlife parks? Oh, tigers, leopards, gibbons, monkeys, a variety of birds. Uh, and likewise, of course, they've come here too, by exchange. The demand for the good conservation work the zoos are doing will be increasing the whole time. I'm afraid the pressure on wild animals in their natural habitat will grow and grow and grow. Um, even though the growth of the human population, some people think, will stabilise, their demands uh, for higher standards of living will grow and grow and grow. And animals are really going to be the, uh, they're going to get the rough end of the stick. So zoos are terribly important. It's also very important, they're very important introducing urban people to uh, the joys of the wild animals and they will only see them in zoos, in good progressive zoos. It's a very difficult situation, certainly my 15 years in Malaya I saw huge tracts of rainforest go and that has multiplied particularly in Indonesia and Borneo. Rainforest is disappearing and other habitats are disappearing. It's very little uh, prospect of returning large numbers of animals to the wild. They would just be poached and killed probably. Uh, but we have been able to, through our conservation fund, support the reintroduction of green peafowl into Malaya and also the reintroduction of Malay peacock pheasants. So we have made a contribution, albeit indirectly, to the reintroduction of stock. What's the future for, for you and, and for Thrupi? What would you like to see happening now? Well, uh, it's time I started, uh, yeah, delegating with a capital D, I think. Uh, so I'll do less and less and less and let others do, uh, let others do more and more.